Equal Value Study, or Observing Contrast of Value in Color. The objective of this study is to improve our perception of lightness and darkness in color and to cultivate our perception of hue within a closed value range. Our visual perception functions by means of comparison. Color effects are intensified or weakened by contrast. There are a number of kinds of color contrasts. In this study, we're examining value, or contrast in lightness or luminosity. Value, with color as well as with grays, is the degree of lightness or darkness. Distinguishing between lighter and darker values is difficult because contrasts in hue, color, or color intensity can obscure our judgment about value. First, from our color aid pack, we're going to choose four achromatic grays. For each of these achromatic gray values, you find three chromatic hues of the same value. Choose a representative from each of the three primary colors or from a secondary or tertiary color that prominently includes a primary. You should end up with four separate groups and a total of 12 colors and four grays. Once you're certain about your choices, you will begin cutting one inch to two inch squares of each of your colors. As you are choosing, keep in mind that pure, fully saturated hues will not be equal in value. Pure yellow has the lightest value of any pure hue. Violet, or purple, has the darkest value of any pure hue. To create a yellow that is as dark as a pure purple or pure blue, there must be an addition of black or a complement to the original pure yellow. This shade of yellow will seem dimmer than before, less saturated, but will now be closer in value to the pure blue or purple. By the same token, pure blue would have to be tinted with the addition of a lot of white, a lot, a lot of white, to achieve the same value as a fully saturated yellow. Colors will be put into four groups, each with three colors and a gray that share the same value. These should be arranged into a square with a border all around. The four separate value groups will share boundaries for comparison sake. Boundaries should be extremely soft within a group, very little contrast, and be much harder with much more contrast from group to group. All squares should butt up directly against one another. There should be no spaces or lines that define each square. Initially, only use small rolls or tabs of tape or a little bit of glue to hold down your square. That way they are easy to switch out if you change your mind on your color. Observe how the color's boundaries with each gray is either softer or harder. You may have to work back and forth across the gray scale until you have found one whose value comes closest to your color. Once you find a gray that's closest to your color's va value, you may match a second and third color to it and then place them into their gridded shape. Take a look at the contrast between the four quadrants of the grid. There should be a lot of contrast between one quadrant and another and very little contrast inside of each quadrant. One thing to keep in mind as we're working is that highly saturated, the bright colors of each color are not going to be the same value. Neither will be the lightest pastel of each, of each value. Equal value study, 